I got one, I got another one, and then slammed it down to the ground. Families watching in horror as a man viciously attacks a flamingo at Bush Gardens, the reason the park's most popular bird meant so much to so many people. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. First tonight, a terrifying day at Bush Gardens for several families as they watch a man grab a pink flamingo out of its enclosure and then lift it over his head and slam the bird to the ground. ABC Action News reporter Clifton French live for us tonight outside of Bush Gardens. And Cliff, you just spoke to a woman who was there with her two young children when this happened. Yeah, they were here celebrating her daughter's fourth birthday. Now she's trying to explain why somebody would be so cruel. I was over where the eagle enclosure was, and um, I could hear a lot of screaming, and I looked over to see a guy holding a flamingo above his head, shaking it violently, screaming, I got one, I got another one. The bird just flattened out, just like an egg kind of splattered on the ground with its wings out and then he started going into tremors. A birthday celebration turned into a traumatic day. Only moments earlier, Amy Wallace and her two young children were visiting the same flamingo that was just violently thrown to the ground. I'm very sad. Her five-year-old son watched every movement. That guy threw the flamingo down and that was my favorite flamingo. What was his name? His name was Pinky. According to police, this is that man. 45-year-old Joseph Correo. Amy says he took the entire incident as a joke. He laughed out loud. He laughed. Mm -hmm. Yep, he thought it was funny. But nobody else thought so. Amy ran to get security of her husband, and another man chased Correo. They kept him from leaving the park until security arrived. <laughs> this right here is Pinky. It turns out that flamingo is a staple at Bush Gardens. This is video of 19-year-old Pinky on our show, The Morning Blend. The park used her for education and even took her to several TV studios. Now, as this mother worries about her son, a lesson about right and wrong from a five-year-old boy to a 45-year-old man. You know what's good about it? Be that he got to go to jail and he had to wear handcuffs. Exactly where this mother says he belongs. If you're that violent that you're going to take it out on an innocent flamingo, who's next or what's next? I asked a spokesperson for Bush Gardens if they were going to make any changes to this exhibits, uh, or to the, uh, excuse me, to the exhibit where this happened. Uh, I was told that there may be some internal discussions going on, but there was no confirmation. I'm reporting live in Tampa, Clifton French, ABC Action News.